Cardano pumped nearly 2x over the last three weeks. Well, my friends, what on earth is going on? And, you know, if you've been part of my community for some time, I have been speaking about Cardano for some time. I just haven't done a video for a few days, uh, two months, more or less, actually. There you go. So I haven't done a video on Cardano in about two months, man. I do my best to get you guys constant videos and traction here. So thank you for being back with me on the Crypto Bliss channel. Let's delve right in. And today Cardano is currently ranked at number 10. It has gone through a crazy pump here. It went from a market cap of 11 and a half billion right up to here, uh, currently at like 28 and a half billion. So that is like a two point, like, oof, that's a lot. My friends, we'll talk about that in a moment. We all know what Cardano is and what it's busy doing. But in this video today, I'm gonna to show you some very specific information that I think is very valuable to you to understand that Cardano is a project, even though some of the tech will still continue to improve, I believe Cardano is one of these projects that you do not wanna miss out on. I have a massive bag of Cardano and I hope you do too, my friend. So today, uh, about four year, over four years now, we're about 4,000% up on Cardano. That's amazing. But we're still down 74% from the all-time high. What does that actually mean? Well, my friends, here you can see that the market cap over here was at about $95 billion. The market cap is only $28.5 billion. So we still have in price to get up to a $3 pretty much level for the all-time high. We'll have a look at that in a little moment and what potential market cap could we look at for Cardano this season, this cycle. I think we could do pretty well in Cardano, uh, you know, considering that this previous bull cycle dwarfed that cycle over there. Um, and, you know, Cardano sat flat for very, 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 very long time here. And Cardano isn't quite doing that at the moment, right? It looks very, very bullish. So, you know, the Cardano community. Uh, so, so for those of you that don't know what Cardano is, Cardano, science-based, open source, patent-free protocols for storing, managing value, identity, governance, and supported by Cardano. Now, Cardano could be selected to run the uh, election and the elections across the world and voting stations and uh, use identity to track all of that. So there's massive integrations that Cardano is busy going through uh, with XRP as well as a couple others. Okay, but XRP is, uh, is doing some cool things with Cardano and Tesla or Elon Musk is also doing some cool things. Now this community is quite large, okay, especially in the crypto community, it's massive, okay? People love Cardano and people hate Cardano. So it's a two different spectrums and realms. I'm very neutral. I think the technology is great. I think it does have some uh, work on it. But, you know, at the end of the day, I haven't actually delved into Cardano as much as I'd like to uh, from a tech based perspective. But I love the community. I love the token. I own bags of the token. I watch the charts. I look at the, the project. I follow the news. I see what they're building with all the stages that they've come through and the roadmap that they've got ahead of them. They, Charles Hoskinson believes that essentially Cardano would become bigger than Bitcoin. I don't know so much about that. That would be insane. Um, and that would really throw this market cap from a 28 billion to like a, a gazillion. But anyways, we'll have a look at those numbers in a short moment. But Cardano meets Bitcoin. One point, speaking of the large trillions, right? 1.3 trillion liquidity boost for DeFi via Bitcoin OS. Okay. Cardano partners with Bitcoin OS to provide its DeFi ecosystem with access to over 1.3 billion in Bitcoin. Well, that's actually about 2 trillion in Bitcoin liquidity right now, as we speak. And the partnership is intended to give Cardano users secure intermediary free access to Bitcoin assets. Okay. The partnership relies heavily on uh, ZK or zero knowledge cryptography and it facilitates the secure integration of Bitcoin assets into Cardano via confirmed transactions. The Bitcoin OS Grail bridge enabled by ZK BitSnark verification is an essential component of this integration. You see what I mean? There is massive technology that is unfolding and such so 
Cardano Bridge may be the first step to true Bitcoin DeFi. Okay, and Bitcoin, as we know, is massive right now. So the new bridge lets users withdraw Bitcoin even if most Cardano nodes become malicious. Not that I think that will ever happen, but critics claim that earlier Bitcoin layer twos didn't allow users to withdraw their Bitcoin. Without the consent of the network's operators, suspected that the new Cardano Bitcoin hybrid network would be more of the same. Well, it actually isn't, as you can see here. The circuit on Taproot, you can go and read that all for yourself. But basically, at the end of the day, withdrawals can be blocked, but that's not what this is about. Opcat can quickly become very cumbersome in terms of transaction size and even chains like Fractal that have um, created a Bitcoin form with OPCAT activator are finding that it brings its own complexities to solve. Amazing. This is what these guys do. This is what the devs do all the time. Okay, let them do their job. You just stack the coin, you make some money, and you go and chill with your family. That's cool, man. Or build businesses and help people, build schools, whatever the whatever it is your idea of fun and living actually is. Cardano's major uptime my, milestone, Ada Community Reacts. Boom! It's explosive, guys. The Cardano blockchain has been running seamlessly for over 2,600 days zero downtime and it has proven its resilience unlike solana um you know as the main ethereum competitor in the cycle and cardano approaches 100 million transactions amid ongoing growth and recent price surge this was from five days ago and you can see here that over the last three weeks we have literally had cardano pump boom what 161 percent? that's absolutely fucking mad my mate um okay but i would not be surprised if we do get some sort of pullback happening here right now because that would probably be a good sign okay that's the wrong way um all right yeah there you go probably to about 65 cents look at that look at that level right across the board there hey Okay, so that is a very, very beautiful level. So let's stick that needle through the eye there. Okay, I'm actually gonna put it even lower right there on the sixth one. Yeah, right there, because that's perfect across there. Look at that. Okay, so previous touchdown points in history. So yeah, I would say that that's going to very likely be the Cardano pullback, which essentially could end up pulling us back about 22%. So not bad, that will be your last opportunity to buy this token using my link down below. As you can see, Bitcoin is breaking out, Cardano is breaking out, things are happening. Use my Bybit link down below, get yourself a $30,000 deposit bonus, trade this coin, and let's go see what this potential market cap could hit you now, my friend. Okay, so I don't know, if you own a thousand Cardano, let's let's just say you own 120 Cardano, so it's 100, 125 Cardano. There you go, $100 worth, okay? All right. $100 worth. Now we're saying that the previous all time high was $3, right? So if the market cap gets to $107 billion, which is quite high for a kind of a blue chip token already, it's really only like 3.7x in your money. Not bad at all. So it's $100 into $375. That's great, but not really the most ideal, guys. So, you know, for me personally, I think a decent target is about $6. On Cardano, I don't know. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. If you own some Cardano bags, make some noise, guys. Uh, make some noise for Cardano, not for me. I'm talking about for Cardano, man. Because uh, yeah, our bags have been, our bags have pumped 161 percent over the last three weeks, man. You should be fucking like going ballistic here. So if we were to reach six dollars, okay, that would give you 750 profit and a seven and a half kind of X. That's not bad. And that's a 215 billion dollar market cap i don't know could it go any higher i don't know like eight dollars is 286 billion dollar market cap that is possible it is somewhat possible i think uh ten dollars you know we're starting to look a little bit like I, I don't know maybe a little bit too high at this point for now but i mean cardano could hit ten dollars if it onboards everything in the bitcoin relationship that it's speaking about at this point and we could get ourselves a 360 billion dollar market cap what happens if we hit 12 dollars it's 430 billion dollar market cap okay we're starting to look really 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 massive here 
Fifteen dollar Cardano is five hundred and thirty six billion dollars. Twenty dollar Cardano is seven hundred and fifteen billion dollars. And I'm just giving you things. Uh, twenty five Cardano is nine hundred billion dollars. What is a fifty dollar Cardano? Fifty dollar Cardano is a one hundred and uh, sorry, one point eight trillion dollar. That's a sixty two x on this coin. I don't think that's going to do that this cycle, undoubtedly, undoubtedly not, so I don't think that that's possible. Uh, some people think Cardano can hit $100 trillion, I mean $100, which would give us like a $3.5 trillion. Not this cycle either, my friends. I, I just don't, I don't see it um, happening. So I just have to say that absolutely the most reasonable, I would say, is probably the $8, maybe the $10. Okay, that's what I would say in this cycle. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for being here with me on the CryptoBus channel. Truly appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one.